Oh my god, is this the graphics card? His heartbreaking story is one of loss, betrayal, and pain. This is just sad. Oh my gosh. This was a 2070 Super in a previous life? Earlier this week, Spencer, aka Never Lucky Chozo, great username by the way, posted this absolutely gut-wrenching photo on Reddit. His heartbreaking story is one of loss, betrayal, and pain. You see, this was no ordinary computer, you guys. This was his gaming rig, his other child. What once glowed and hummed in the night is now charred and silent. To that, I say no. His PC will rise like the Phoenix. We are stepping in to right this gross injustice. And all you have to do is prove that your story isn't a bunch of internet bullshit. So, we offered Spencer a trade. His PC for our PC. And all I need to know is if what's in here matches what he posted on Reddit. Our sponsor, Glasswire, is the tool that shows you which apps are slowing down your connection in real time. It's used by security pros to monitor for malware, block bandwidth wasters, and detect suspicious activity. Get 25% off using offer code Linus at the link down below. Oh, that is depressing. <laughs> <laughs> now, anyone can get 70,000 upvotes with a good enough story. Reddit's full of tearjerker posts from attention seekers that turn out upon further investigation to be tall tales. And we weren't gonna build a brand new gaming PC and send it to one of those people. We needed proof. <sighs> Which is exactly why we had Spencer pack up his machine and send it over to us. Our poor PCMR brother here. So the components lost in the blaze include an AMD Ryzen 5 3600X, a Noctua NHU12S, of which, as far as I can tell, basically nothing remains, an MSI B450 Tomahawk motherboard. We've got the IO shield from that puppy. I mean, should we try, let's try and find pieces of each one as we go. I mean, this seems to be, oh my God, is this the graphics card? Oh, what was this? 2070 Super. This was a 2070 Super in a previous life? Gigabyte GeForce RTX 2070 Super. Oh, I think I found the CPU. Yep. So here's the pads where the pins used to be soldered on the bottom. And we've verified Spencer's story. This was in fact a chiplet design Ryzen processor can tell from the multiple spots where die components were attached there. It had a two terabyte Crucial BX500. Um, I don't see anything resembling an SSD in here, but everything checks out so far, so. This is just, this is just sad. Even the things you'd think would remain relatively unscathed, I mean, right? Like metal doesn't burn in a wood fire, right? Oh, sure it does. Like this case is, I don't know, Colin. Like we had intended to kind of try to hot glue it back together to resemble its original form, but I don't know, dude. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's a chance. Okay, so there's your power supply. Got a 500 watt EVGA something or other. Oh, I found another piece of the graphics card. Oh, are those cables? There's the display port and HDMI oh. ports from the inside. Here's the mount for the water cooler. So this would go kind of here-ish, huh? Yeah. There you go. Is Found a hard, hard drive. Hey. Got some, got you know, some I data. Bet you, if you sent that to drive savers, they'd pull a data off it. I bet if I sent it to drive savers, they'd tell me to go F myself. No, those platters are dead. They're dead, Jim. Okay, I'm gonna install a hard drive in the front bay there. Yeah, oh. Hold on, I gotta, Look, the graphics card's one of the most important parts of the gaming computer. CPU. Need a support brace for it. We got a little bent in shipping. Up there, yeah. Okay. Mint. Basically good as new. Of course, even now, this could be any random burned computer. In fact, 
Spencer here could have just gone to a you know pawn shop, gotten a computer and put it inside a dumpster fire. So what we need to see is if this is in fact the same computer. So let's have a look here. This is the original post on Reddit. Oh yeah, there's our HDMI cable. Okay, there's our, here's our IO plate. That does in fact appear to be the same IO plate. Oh wow, it looks like the graphics card disintegrated a little bit more on the way over here, but so far this checks out. The goal here wasn't to go all completely balls to the wall crazy. It was to build something reasonable and comparable to what Spencer lost in the blaze, you know, a sort of PCMR insurance. So we've gone with an Asus Prime B450 Plus motherboard and a perfect one-to-one -one replacement of Spencer's old CPU, a 3600X. Now what happened to our uh, 3600X from the shipment, Colin? Did, did you catch where that? Oh, where it ended up? I put it back, uh, you know. Oh, do you install it in the socket yeah, port? Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, beautiful, yeah. okay. We've got small improvement. We're gonna go from this to this. Oh, getting dust all over my motherboard. I guess I need a, a M.2. So for a drive, we went with a 970 Evo Plus. This is a two terabyte drive. Wow, did Spencer have a two terabyte drive? Sure did. <sighs> Spencer, you baller. Now you got a new two terabyte drive. Let's go ahead and get that bad boy installed. Whoop. Now it's time for cooling. Now we could have gone with a regular NHU 12, but come on, this is LTT PC. We got to do the LTT edition. Man, I am excited. I'd love to see the look on Spencer's face, but, but thanks to a little problem in the world called COVID, I won't get to. Fortunately, we've actually arranged for one of our YouTuber colleagues, I guess you call them colleagues, I don't know, whatever, compatriots, uh, craft computing to drop off the PC. As it turns out, he lives like just up the road from Spencer and had actually reached out first to offer to build a computer. But then he was like, yo, Spencer, Take the LTT computer and I'll tell you what, I'll make sure it's any good before I pass it along to you. And I was like, hey, you know, that's great. Last thing we want to do is accidentally ship Spencer a lemon because it got, you know, busted in the mail or whatever. Poor Spencer. Then he wouldn't have his old busted computer and he'd have a new busted computer. That sucks. That's funny. I didn't even recognize Noctua's mounting system without a Noctua cooler on it. Should we reuse his original mounting hardware? I think it might still be good. Just to have one little piece of his old computer in there? You know what, let's do it. Let's use the, let's use the fire treated brackets. I think this is the right move. And you know what? It actually even kind of matches the color scheme of this board. Like with these gray, uh, these gray accents that it has on it. We've got some Patriot Viper, what is this? Uh, 3200 megahertz CL16. So this is a really good pairing for that 3600X that he's got in there. Looking good. Unfortunately for Spencer, we didn't have exactly the same case kicking around. So we grabbed uh, this tempered glass side panel one from Gigabyte. It's fine. Everything's going smoothly so far. This is kind of a cheaper case and just uses like punch out PCI covers. So we went and grabbed some that we had lying around. All matching ones, we'll throw those in so the case comes together a little nicer. We're also gonna grab some extra fans, just a pair of 140 millimeters for the front here. There's not a ton of room for intake, but with those drawing air across the motherboard and graphics card, not too worried about it. And we can go ahead and pop our motherboard in now. Sweet. For power supply, we went with an RM650X. It's not quite the exact same model that Spencer had before, but it's pretty darn comparable. 80 plus gold, modular interface. Apologies in advance, craft computing. This is not gonna be the most amazing cable management ever. We got ourselves an Aorus RTX 2070 Super. Oh wait, no, we didn't. 2080 Super, hey! Got a nice little upgrade for Spencer there. We would have loved to do 3000 series, but the reality of it is we have as much difficulty getting them right now as anyone. So the ones that we have, we need for benchmarking. Sorry, Spencer, you're just getting a small upgrade. Just needed a BIOS update for support for third gen Ryzen. And now we are, wait, what? Just shut it down. Oh, I hit the button. Now Spencer didn't have a 4K monitor and the one we're replacing it with isn't 4K either, but I figured, hey, we wanna make sure we're stress testing this thing before it gets to him. So he's gonna be getting that LG Ultra Gear monitor, but we're actually running at 4K Ultra Nightmare and Doom Eternal, sitting at a casual 250 to 300 frames per second. I think it's pretty fair to say the machine is 
working fine, just fine, and is ready to make its way down to our neighbors in the south. Very reasonable noise levels. And actually, considering how quickly I put this together, I think pretty decent cable management. Adequate? Yeah. All right, thanks, David. That's what I was going for. Yeah, so this is not the best deal I've ever made, trading one of these for one of these, but I think it worked out all right for Spencer. And if you guys want to see the look on his face when he gets his new gaming rig, go check out Craft Computing. We're going to have them linked in the video description. Speaking of things linked in the video description, our sponsor, Squarespace. Want to build a beautiful website without the hassle? Squarespace has got you covered. Their all-in-one platform makes it easy to get up and running quickly. They've got award-winning templates that you can use as a starting point for a wide range of projects. And if you ever need help, Squarespace offers webinars, a full series of help guides, and you can even contact their support 24-7 via live chat or email. If you already have a third-party domain, you don't have to give it up. Just transfer it over to Squarespace. And if you want to sell goods or services online, Squarespace has got you covered there too. You can easily manage your inventory and orders. So go ahead to squarespace.com forward slash LTT to get 10% off your first purchase. If you guys enjoyed this PC because you're into, you know, that kind of horrifying tech gore, I actually don't know if we've ever done anything like this. I don't know, sure, go check out ROG Rig Reboot. We'll throw one of the episodes in there where I build a PC actually with the intended recipient. I would love to bring Spencer up here, but like COVID. So.